Wow, man! Oh, I want a leader bike. That should not be legal. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a special episode of Yami Noob. I have with me today Brandon Altmeyer, and we are doing some fun testing on the Yamaha R1, some very important testing for our giveaway bike. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good episode. So Brandon, we met here at Eagles Canyon Raceway, right? We did. Where you came and fanboyed all over me, over here <laughs> in my garage. <laughs> Absolutely, you looked recognizable, so I was like, oh. Let's yeah. see, if, uh, see if I know this guy. But then you saw me on track, you're like, man, he's slow as hell yeah, though. So. absolutely. White helmet, I know that helmet. Yeah, yeah. So tell the folks at home a little bit of your background with racing and all that, because you are considerably faster <laughs> than I am, so. Um, I've been riding since I was three, uh, racing since I was seven, so 16 years now. Jeez. 23 years old. Yeah. Um, I've raced an enormous amount of, a plethora of bikes. Yeah. Um, yeah, name it, probably ridden it. Yeah, Absolutely. but the weird thing is, you were telling me today that um, you've never really ridden a thousand on track. I haven't. That got ruined for me when I was 12 or 13 years old, and uh, someone went up and said, "Hey, why don't you ride my KTM RC8?" Yep. And that it, blows my mind that someone turned to a 12 year old and they were like, "Jump on this yeah, leader bike." It scared yeah. the shit. I went out and came right back in. No flyer. Yeah. A lot of poo. Um, <laughs> But came in, just decided that it's not for me because I was again 12 or 13. And, yeah. Um, a couple years later, after that, I had a 2012 BMW S1000, mm -hmm. that nice, sexy baby blue one. Yeah. Um, I had that, rode that on the street for one day, and said, nope, <laughs> can't do this either. So. So just let so you guys know at home. So Brandon, you know. Pro racer, you, what, you did Red Bull Rookie Cup, Motor America, right, got, all that kind of stuff? I got invited to do Red Bull Rookie Cup um, 2010, I believe it was. Yeah. Um, and tried out there, figured out no one likes us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, Americans so, are not more well loved. Yeah, they are not on top of everyone's list. No. Um, and then came back, raced Moto America in 2015 and 2016 with the KTM RC Cup and then figured out I am way too broke for it. So yeah. <laughs> just stuck club racing and try to hide out of people's views. Yeah, so Brandon currently runs uh, expert level at CMRA. Uh, he's very, very quick on this uh, prepped R6. And we also do a little Ninja 400 that we've been doing an endurance yeah. racing on, which has been kind of fun. In the worst conditions. <laughs> yeah, uh, our last race, it was rainy and dry. And then we had rain tires and put on regular tires and back on it. It was a whole mess. Um, but racing, I guess, is just like that. So what do you, feeling about the R1 today? A uh, little nervous, but that's to be expected. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I gotta remember how to do standard shift again. Yeah, yeah, because um, we tried GP and it just was not working out. Yeah, yeah. quick shifter was like, no, I'm okay. Yep. So, other than that, I'll just take it one lap at a time. I don't know what to expect. I've, I want to expect the worst, but then I have a feeling it's gonna be the best, so. Yeah. I'm gonna try to stay pretty neutral. I'm gonna just go open with an open mind. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really cool seeing our laps back to back. Um, you know, kind of yeah. just literally just doing like rider mod on that motorcycle. It's yeah. just running it completely as is. We haven't even changed the suspension settings on it. We're just doing it completely stock. We're um, sitting at 211s right now or something like that? Is yeah, that 211 was my time on it. Yeah. And I run a 208 usually with my Daytona. Um, so I'm about three seconds off from my personal record pace. Uh, to give you guys an idea, Brandon does like a 201, right? Two minute flat? 2029. 2029 on his yeah. R6. Um, so oh, I'm only five seconds slower, um, but I'm actually much, much slower than Brandon, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, dude, you wanna jump on it and do it? Let's go. Let's go. Let's get some heat in these tires. Take it nice and easy on this first lap. Yeah, baby. Got the brakes way far out now, which is good. Get a little more travel in that lever. Feeling this out here. Oh, it's such an effortless machine to ride, man. It's crazy. Unbelievably fast motorcycle, dude. Breaking here. 
auto downshift. Oh, so nice. Way quicker. Here we go, back straight. Let's let her sing, shall we? Woo! Not being super aggressive, still letting the heat warm up in the tires. Whoa, man! Golly, this bike's good. It is so effortless. Oh, I want a leader bike. I'm a little too excited. God, leave this play off my god, man. Wow, you can break late. Completely blew that apex, that's fine. Gear. Turn it over here. You can definitely go a little bit quicker through that section. Kind of slow. Fuck it all, man. it through on the gas come on baby pick it up Too much there. <laughs> oh man, little too much. I'm going 
blowing off my ears and the sound of the revs. So I actually have no idea how fast I'm going through these sections. man R1. <laughs> the thing just shreds. Oh, baby. Confidence inspiring. Whew. Cooling down here a little bit. Feeling a little fatigued. Don't want to bend the R1. The auto blip downshift is so cool. The sound this thing makes is just unbelievable. Alright, let's not kill ourselves. That's the goal for today. Feels pretty nimble. That's got some smooth power. That was very usable power right there. Not be legal. All right. Let's see what this thing can do.
good for stop. since I've ridden on stock suspension. This feels really predictable. Definitely tell why people like this bike. No 
Fuel brakes. Already. Yeah, let those cool down. Alright. Just use the rear brake on the way back. Make sure we don't get anyone in this way. Those just went. Definitely need to get some pads if you're gonna ride this competitively. We're gonna check there. Alrighty, Brandon. So, did your session on the R1? <laughs> uh, how did it feel? What did you notice? Uh, I think it's terrifying, but not in a bad way. Yeah. It's it's confidence inspiring, and it it gives you nothing but good feedback. So you're like, all right, let me see if I can care a little deeper. Let me see if I can accelerate a little harder. Yeah. And you forget that you have 200 horsepower, and you missed your braking marker 200 feet ago. Uh, <laughs> it's it's weird. It's it gives you nothing but good feelings. Like even when it was twisting and kind of brake late, I I knew it was gonna be there. Yeah. And uh, I definitely see why people ride them yeah but i'm sweating <laughs> it was it was definitely definitely work i think for me it's incredible how confident inspiring it is yeah you know like it's just um even as a stock package yeah like the, it's the just, stock it's literally just factory the only thing i've done is put an exhaust on it it's, the, that's showroom the r10s you know? it, the front suspension felt good i yeah. i felt where the tires were going the only problem i had was as as the time started to drop the the rear was it couldn't necessarily tell where it is. Yeah. But that's that's about it. You think that's due it. to tire suspension or what? I think it's more on the suspension side because I can still yeah. feel the front and they're going to be the, about the same. You want to want to feel them about the equal. So I think it's suspension, but even then, I think you can tune it with that stock suspension I think and so still too. get the good feeling out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah cause for you guys at home, we I've literally not dialed in the suspension on this bike at all. This is just straight from Yamaha, straight from factory, yeah. probably in the street settings or whatever triple clamp still pretty low down i think maybe you could lighten them up lower or raise them a little bit get a little slower tip in but like more stability mid corner probably um but you, the big thing you notice though is the brakes right the brakes yeah um, i i'm shocked at how the brakes feel on this bike they they're, feel great they're but they they uh, they feel great and as you brake <laughs> later the, the downfall is they don't last god long. they don't last at all uh -uh. They, um, they that was i could not believe how quickly they faded yeah i think what i got three maybe four, four laps. laps yeah and all of a sudden you had to pit in because you're like i'm gonna die if i keep yeah, riding this thing because you had nothing went into turn five and it was huh cool i'm not making turn five now <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that's it's a scary feeling, a very exhilarating feeling, because the moment you squeeze them, you know if you're going to make that corner or not. Yeah. And just instantly it's like, nope, oh, I'm going to go ahead and go this way. Yep. Um, uh, I, I think as well that the motor and the way it pulls, like, it just makes, like, this unreal amount of yeah. power. It's crazy. It, it's difficult to carry neutral throttle, especially with that fly-by wire. Yeah. Um, I noticed. But otherwise, I mean, generally when you're racing 1000s or even just trying to be a weekend warrior with it, um, you're never really neutral throttling anyways. Yeah. Um, you, you just need to get in, get out, and get it done with. Um, yeah. And use that 200 horsepower. Um, even attesting to the brakes, it's just slap on a set of race pads, and I think you'll be good to go. See how it goes, yeah. Yeah, I was already being like, oh, it needs a you know, new master cylinder, new brakes, and you're like, no, 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 just do pads. Yeah. It'll be fine. And if you're feeling adventurous, get rid of the ABS. That's yeah. About it. Otherwise, I think you'd have to be pretty adventurous to do yeah. that. Honestly. Otherwise, I didn't never saw the ABS light, and yeah. I know the rear tire came up at least once because I shit myself at least <laughs> once. <laughs> That's the crazy thing about it as well is um, like whenever you, I, I knew this when I was riding on the street, but now even on the track, especially, you know, it just you can just feel how much more it has in it. And you're like, I'm never going to I'm never going to get there. Yeah. There's it, so much in this bike. It, it's barely breaking a sweat and I'm here. Yeah, drenched in sweat. And, exactly. Yeah, it's it's something. I don't know how people like to ride these on the street. <laughs> I don't know how. Yeah, uh, you, were, you were saying off camera, you're like, oh, they, they should just be illegal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I even said it while I was riding. I was like, this should not be legal. Yeah. And the crazy part is, here in America, you can just go buy one as soon as you finish your MSF. Just I, go get one. Yeah. I mean, people even have these things without their MSF. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's really frightening. People start riding on those things. That's terrifying. Well, because they're like, oh, I can put it in D mode and it'll be fine. It's yeah. like, you will not be fine. It's still 190 horsepower, buddy. Yeah. Um, so anything else you noticed about it? I mean, I, I don't really have any bad quarrels with it i mean it did everything i wanted it to do it was very predictable 
It's really nimble, isn't it? It really Surprisingly, is. Surprisingly, yeah. It on the back section, I, I just kind of just muscle it through from left to right. I'm like, wow, it really just flicks right in. You, you forget it's a 1,000 because yeah. I turned in at my same 600 breaking marker. Yeah. I didn't hit that apex. Not even close. <laughs> but I still made it, and I was never I never felt out of control. I was just like, yeah. ooh, missed that one by a little bit. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, that's... It's too much fun. It is. And for all you guys at home, so Brandon just went out literally his first session of the day, put up a 207.7, but I, dude, I know you could have probably clipped off a 204, 203. No, uh, no problem. I was just getting one. You were getting those, in there, yeah. And breaks. then the brakes faded. That's all right. So, and I did a 211, so you can see quite a gap in skills there. Um, but, uh, but you wrote it on B mode, see, now you have Exactly, a, yeah, and I can, now I'm going to take it out on A mode and see if I can, I'll, I'll obviously do a 204. Yeah, yeah. no worries. Yeah, Obvi. clip off seven seconds. <laughs> Um, you know, it's funny, before I rode this thing on track, uh, I, have, I had this opinion about leader bikes where I was like, they're too much, they're too big, they're too fast, they're kind of annoying to ride and this and that, but I can really make the case for this bike to be like a weekend warrior kind of bike. It, and it can, really flatters you. It does, and I have a feeling a lot of other thousands feel the same way, because there's a reason people are buying the new Beamers, yeah. there's a reason people are buying Jixxers and R1s and Kawasaki's. Mm -hmm. There's and if they all feel like that, I, I don't blame them. Yeah. I, absolutely, I don't blame them at all. Because once they, if you do decide to get into competition, if you start putting better suspension and better Dude. brakes, I can absolutely see why people are racing these things. Yeah. Because so. the electronic, did you did you even feel the electronics, honestly? I didn't even hear them. I didn't, I didn't either. And I think that's the best compliment you can give to them, where you're like, I didn't even notice yeah. anything, you know? Didn't notice it. I didn't see a light kick on. That's a sweet bike. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. That Should thing is your... stupid.